Okay, so I'm just restarting the video here. Um, or some some technical issues uh, in a kind of way, I would say. So this is Contra added earlier. Um, for the PC PlayStation 2 uh, running on the emulated PC SX2. No auto HDR this time. I, it's a very grayish looking game. I don't think auto HDR works that great with that. Um, so it does seem like you can do some very little remapping. Not a lot of remapping. Um, so LS change weapon and R1 change weapon. I would like to swap those ones. They, they are kind of weird. Me? I think they are inverted. Uh, yeah. No. But it's nice that you can. <clears throat> it's nice that you can be uh, map, guard shots, and then let me. Oops. Go the four. There we go. I think that's the best. I go. Oh, hot button to exit. There we go. And we're gonna try a normal difficulty here. Four. Uh, but this is quite difficult, so I don't think it's gonna go well. I played Contra, uh, a lot of the Contra games, like, and I love Contra and Contra Su Super C, right? The sequel. And uh, the Contra 4, I think, believe it is, like for the Nintendo DS, the vertical. Um, the one for PlayStation 3 hard corps are definitely interesting. But this one, it has a very grayish style compared to all of the other Contra games. But I'm not really 100% sure what I feel about. And again, I feel that the weapon swapping is inverted because if I press the right button, I want to swap to the green weapon that are grenades on the floor, but I get the flamethrower. I don't know what they were thinking. Why is it that way? Counterclockwise. I guess it makes sense if you look it at like a clock, but it would be just, I think it would be better if it wasn't the other way around, like just a horizontal kind of weapon switching bar there, quickly know what's coming. So you can lock your aiming in place, unfortunately the diagonal is a little bit wonky to me. You can also lock it in place like this, so you always aim at the one direction. You stand still and aim. You have a dodge shot. That's a different depending on uh, the three weapons that you have. Mm -hmm. Oof. Yeah, seems. It's a 2.5D game here. It's, it doesn't seem, you know, like it's anything wrong, but um, but it's I think it's a graphic style and a little bit of uh, not style, but the uh, the colors it just are a little bit of weird to me. And the, the weapon swapping, sure, but three weapons, I think I prefer the two weapon swap. I don't know, it's some... oh, you're right, you can... I'm up, I always forget that. Always, man. I uh, uh, <laughs> this is like I uh, play this for five minutes or something. Let me just do quick tweaking. Hello, camera.
Yeah, this is definitely one of the weirder Contra games for me. Horde Corps was also 2.5D, uh, but here you swapped, I believe, two weapons, uh, like in the, the SNES version and other games. Um, and it just feels more natural swapping two weapons in a game like this than three. Uh, and also having this very grey art style. I don't think it really fits this game, but that might just be me. Okay, so you cannot touch them, then you die. Okay, this is... Uh, uh, it's weird as a Contra thing there, uh, but that was also in Hard Corps, so... Obviously, they, uh, the developers like this uh, uh, gameplay. Um, I do not like this. But again, I uh, guess it's a personal thing, thing here, right? Uh, I guess this also was a little bit like this flying thing in... or like enemies when you, uh, you do one for uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, I don't know. I've seen footage and I want to play this game. I'm not... I'm not liking it, quite honestly. Quite early on. It's just something feels weird. I don't know what it is. I just can't get uh, on board with this game. I don't know, I don't feel this like I get from the other ones, like woohoo, kind of badass feeling or anything. I'm gonna switch to easy to see if I can do something. Yeah. This is a rough, very rough thing as a game. Like even if I die there when I you know, start a Contra, Super C or... I'm gonna do a try the one for Super Nintendo again yeah, because it's been uh, quite a while since. But even then... Um, just... Um, it felt fun. It looked nicer, it felt nicer. And just overall a more better, more pleasant experience, even if I died on the first stage. Here's just like, I don't know. I cannot get on board with this. I would love to. What is this boss? Yeah, I don't... I don't... I'm not feeling this. The old style... The, <clears throat> the three gun mechanic... feels off to me. I don't get the Contra vibe from this. Why? Right, this is the same mechanic as in... Uh,
in the Super Nintendo version. I never, I never enjoyed this. Uh, this that uh, how you get stuck when you cling to those. It's like this of taking everything, everything that I don't like, and uh, and just amplifies it with the, the game. Like the things that I don't really enjoy. Game just uh, ate and went crazy with it, and obviously this is a 100% personal thing. I know these people like this game that is perfectly fine, but I don't know. I think the, the one for Nintendo DS is one of the best one, and I wish they could have made a remake of that one. There's also something with the diagonal that is really unfortunately working perfect with this controller I'm using here. Obviously it's not the game's problem. This is just a weird boss. What is this pattern? Maybe I guess I needed to yell, maybe? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a pretty short let's try because I cannot in any way get into this game. I don't know what it is. How are you supposed to dodge that? I cannot. I can't outrun it. How do I dodge that? I have to know that that happens and just... I'm gonna do one on easy, but this game just... I cannot... I don't know. I've seen people play it and I'm like, like... This seems so not like a, something I can get on board with. I'm right, I cannot. This is first time playing easy, I was like... This is not contra to me. It feels a bit clunky. It has weird grayish art style, and it's like it's taken all of in this first short section. It's not the difficulty, right? But it's like it's taken everything that I think was bad with other games and pushed it in the center. <laughs> Just in the first couple of minutes of the game, the clunky with the climbing all the horizontal things there. Uh, we one well, like the bad boss pattern thing there. Boss is just landing on top of me. Just everything feels not like Contra. Even the music. I don't know, it, it, the music are a little bit like the, definitely fits a bit with the hard corpse, but I don't know, the music doesn't really speak to me, I, I don't mind heavy music, right? But it just feels like noise, not like, uh, yeah, no, it doesn't have the punchiness to it that the, the previous game had. 
nothing of this game really. I don't get any Contra Y from this, and I, I'd love to have it. do the 2D platform action, you know, shooter, side scrolling games, right? Um, but the closest, the best we've gotten at that, 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 like, in the recent years, are actually Dota Crisis. It's an amazing game, not a perfect, it has weak points, but overall, amazing. And I would like, if you have any tips for both, like, yes, older game, indie games that are, like, in the Contra vibe, Contra to the sea and, like, the one for, uh, the one for do 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 Nintendo DS and, like, Soda Quasi, I like more suggestions for games like that, because this is, uh, not speaking to me at all. This is not a doing it for me. So like having shield guys that I have to like swap? Yeah, it, this game just takes like everything. Vertical section, I think those were also one of the more boring games. Uh, part of the like, game for Super Nintendo, that's also definitely a good one. Um, yeah. This boss is fine, you know, it's not a big problem. It has predictable patterns. You can probably take out the you know the firing if you wanna have it be easier. Uh, maybe on easy I can get behind this a little bit better, I don't know. Because Contra games are difficult. I never felt that the difficulty was like in the way in the previous games. It's a challenge and it's like cool. <laughs> but except, uh, especially the one for Nintendo DS you have you have difficulty settings. So you can counter it pretty good. Uh, maybe this easy here will make me like this more? Oh, um, that's that's not the game for that's uh, something going on with the diag diagonal aiming, unfortunately. That has nothing to do with the game there. Uh, that's my controller or the emulator or the Steam controller, something else. Not anything against the control game with that one. Maybe he won't do this super crazy young? Oh yes, the boss does that. Yeah, this boss, yes. This, especially this. Weird pattern, I don't know. That seems like a weird pattern with the graphical file here. I think I died on this mini boss here. Just as much as, as I did on uh, Devious. Probably even more than on uh, the normal lift counter. <laughs> All right, yes. uh, let's see. Okay, we died, I guess. Where am I? There I am. This is everything. Ah, this is the worst part of the series. Alright, remember, stay back. 
Okay, this uh, reminds of the obviously a rem remembrance from the post from the Super Nintendo. Don't remember exactly the name of that one. That's a bad shake point. Also, this game to me, like, always when I looked at it, it felt like it was just a long series of uh, bosses with just very minor mini stages in between, and that's, like, again, it just goes completely against what Contra was. Nicer stages with bosses at the ends. And then. Instead, what you get instead is uh, watch stages with a lot of bosses. And that's great, but it can be great if the bosses are super great, but so far the bosses hasn't been super great or anything, so. trying to learn this pattern but it's such a weird pattern here. I don't know. I don't know. Great if you like this, I cannot get by this game in any way and it's not a difficult, it just feels weird. It also feels weird. The graphic is weird, the playing style. The weapons here like aren't really this so far. Maybe you can get upgrade them or something, I don't know, but so far the, the weapons are kind of meh. The weapons was always something that I think was kind of cool in the other games. Even on the first stage you got, you know, the super shot. Okay, I don't even know why I'm dying there, so... <laughs> oh, sorry if I'm negative, but I wanted to have a really good, uh, like a good uh, solid 2D shooting game. Okay, random pattern here. But what instead I got was much, much worse. <laughs> Much, much worse to uh, the game here. To the action, speaker, scrolling, game. That was the boss on easy. Four. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go. 
normal two characters, but you can't. Can you switch characters? Should I probably check that? I don't think you can. added a more intricate story none of the other really contra games had it and it doesn't really fit it uh, yes. seems like the odd one of the contra game well i guess there is the one that was like top down i have not tried that because that's just obvious it's really did not be named contra Ah, uh, maybe you can. Is there a 3D control also? Is it for PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2? We got like shit uh, reviews. <laughs> they should have stuck to the old classic 2D nice bright action pack the formula. I think they did that with the uh, release of the, the one for Android. Uh, obviously I don't play Android game, but I tried it on an emulator and it has some potential, but microtransactions and stuff like that. If they would have taken the Android game, made it into a nice solid PC port and sold it separately, well yeah. Deep story in a game like this. Crying at least. <laughs> Feel free to comment if this is your favorite game and what you think about any other Contra games. Because I love uh, other Contra games. I do not like this. What? Oh, I love it. I mean, come on, this is an action game, just skip this, there we go, let's just skip it. Okay, so... Credit 98, what does credit do? I don't know, can you spend them, spend them somewhere? There are two characters for two player mode here, but I don't believe you can switch the... Well, I guess you can in the settings. I don't... I'm gonna check if that makes... Okay. What? If that makes a different gun wise before giving up on this game completely and never ever touching it again. You know what? I'm doing that. No. Come on, get out of this. I'm gonna try that now. I'm, I don't wanna pay this. I really don't wanna pay this. Ooh. Stop getting. Can I? You can't quit. You have to. Can't quit. I'll make you quit. There we go. Yeah, I cannot do this. Holy crap, this feels like shit. Sorry to any, every, anyone that likes it. Ooh, it feels like shit. Man, it's not many games that come across that just purely are trash to me from the get go. Ooh. Oh my god, the entire game just. Ooh, just. Ooh, makes the entire body I not want to go for it. I just want to see if this is the same weapons. It is, okay. Is this like a mini boss at the start of the level? Weird. What is this game? I mean, another one of these weaker sections that's gonna start a... 
What? What the heck is this game? Is he as the boss or what? Nope, we are done. Nope, nope, no, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no, <laughs> heck no. And uh, no, if you didn't get it, no, no. There we go. Not... Okay, no. Uh, I'm gonna do a let's try it because it, it's not really a let's try, but uh, of the. The Contra 4 Super Nintendo, right? Uh, I, th I think I tried the one from Mega Drive, uh, and that was also really great. A little bit darker, but still uh, had a lot of things. So maybe that also might be something to, in the future, check out. But this is, this is it. Me feels like garbage. Sorry. If you like this, I, I don't see what you like with it. Oof. Maybe it's my fault. I came into this wanting a Contra game, and I I don't... I don't want to, you know, be too negative and stuff like that. And I don't try to always be, but like I, I, I knew that watching this, right, that it probably wouldn't be my favorite Contra game or anything like that. It, you know, still mediocre. Like, okay, well, this wasn't for me, right? But this just trigger every negativity in me whatsoever. Like, this. so bad. I don't know, I, had, I, I gotta stop quitting, I can't play it, I can't do it. It's just, nothing feels polished or nothing feels good about it. What, what went wrong? Like the 2.5D art style, that's fine. Music, sure. I think it doesn't really do anything for me, but that's 100% partial. If you really like that just hammering and a heavy metal sound, great. That's uh, definitely nothing that you can complain about. But the movements, like the animations, they are clunky. Compared to all the other Contra games that are 2D, at least. I haven't tried the 3D or the top-down. This is so clunky. The animation, the movement there, when you, how you turn, and it feels bad. And the tree weapon there. Like without, I maybe again you can upgrade something, but you have I didn't unlock any weapon like you do in all the other games by playing the game, the stage. Just like I have the three weapons, they feel bad, um, not inspiring, nothing, just bland. Super grayish tone, and then just like there's no real stages, I uh, felt like this just mini boss and mini boss or bosses and like hey this game turned into just a boss rush and the bosses didn't they felt bad with the, how you know the games previously is rough but you can predict and you can learn and you can get like their patterns and uh, you know the graphic is sharp so you can do that here it's like fussy grayish and it's like just and it have I don't, I don't like how the patterns are. You're like, a... holy shit, man! I don't say this often, but this is one game that I would not recommend anyone to play because I, again, you love it, great. I just cannot find any really good positive about this game. It does nothing great to me, not good, nothing even barely mediocre. Ooh, I am so disappointed. I love some good, solid uh, recommendation for much better, preferably modern, uh, you know, shooter games to these scrollers like Soda Crisis. That is a it has its flaws with some of the stages and some things here, but like that is just so amazing. Uh, even the hard corps, you know, uprising, I didn't really dig super into it, but I can see the greatness and it felt really interesting and stuff. Even though I didn't enjoy the game and the super much, I can see the potential and everything in it. Like, this just is 
triggering everything like no 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 one should play this <laughs> um, that is a personal thing but if you're watching this channel and you think that you know you like games that i like and you haven't tried this you're probably not gonna like this game so do not try it stay away from it uh, try it at the buddy's place or if the arcade if you can or someplace other do not get this game Ooh, it's Oof, yeah uh, thanks for watching leave a comment i'm gonna switch to super nintendo and uh, do a little bit of uh, you know remembering of i uh, played this uh, back in the days but do a, I, I i'll take it as a last try just because i need to end on a better contra you know why but i can't end on this control mood today friday and no you can't do that Oof. so yeah uh, like, comment, everything, you know, thumbs down, uh, click back to the channel or whatever. And have a great day till next time. And stay tuned for uh, the contract for Super Nintendo Let's Try coming up. And until then, bye.